I need to know how to fix the pressure switch on the furnace. Before you assume it is the pressure switch that's failing, check the grating over the air intake. If the thing sucks and leaves while bringing in air, the pressure switch is doing its job. The pressure switch is going off even if there is not something stuck in the vent. The first thing to try is turning it off, waiting 5 minutes, then turn it back on. That resets the control board. You want to rule out a control board error before you start paying for spare parts. And what if rebooting it doesn't work? Then turn it back off and leave it off before you start replacing parts. Then clear the pressure switch tubing. I do not see how that helps. Condensing gas furnaces extract water from the exhaust. That is to boost its efficiency. Yes, but sometimes the condensation can collect in the pressure switch tubing. If there's too much moisture in there, it can trip the pressure switch. I'd take that out and clean it if I had a condensing gas furnace. Some furnaces have an inducer linked to the pressure switch, and that can trigger things if the fittings are pinching it or the tubes are clogged with ash. I do not even know if I can take it out, since there may be a restrictor on it. The pressure switch is designed to turn off the furnace as there is a problem with the pressure. You should check the vents for blockage or air filters before you start changing out switches. A clogged filter will lead to too much pressure, not the negative pressure that engages a pressure switch. But a blockage in the air intake vent or crack in the heat exchanger will. If there is a crack in the heat exchanger, I need to turn it off anyway before the thing leaks heat or gas. Or explodes. You're right, it needs to be turned off. The pressure switch turns things off if the airflow is not going in the right direction. It can engage if there are problems with a pinched vent or even rust in the heat exchanger. A rusting heat exchanger could explain a pressure problem, if hot air is leaking out a lot of little rust holes. If you've already checked the vents, the heat exchanger and tubing, then you can get a replacement pressure switch. I've heard that is expensive. True, since it is typically only an OEM part. Especially when the manufacturers make the pressure switches unique to each model, so you cannot even reuse switches between furnaces.